हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज सुनील एंड वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल आईटी जंक्शन फॉर ऑल टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द सिनेरियो बेस्ड इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर पार्ट थ्री फर्स्ट प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट स्टूडेंट टेबल हैज थ्री कॉलम्स स्टूडेंट नेम टोटल मार्क्स एंड ईयर यूजर हैज टू राइट अल क्वेरी टू डिस्प्ले स्टूडेंट नेम टोटल मार्क्स ईयर and previous years marks actually this is the column which has to be derived out of main table for those whose total marks are greater than or equal to the previous year so now let's understand our input table so we have student total marks and year so in this sample we have three years data for each student so if you consider Mohan's marks in 2012 it was 90 and if you consider his marks in 2011 it was 65 so as per the logic we have to display only those names whose total marks should be greater than or equal to the previous year so if you see this mohan's data in 2012 and 2011 it is satisfying the condition because he has 90 marks in 2012 and in uh, 65 marks in 2011 so it satisfies the condition and that's why we are able to uh, we are able to see his name in the output table that is 90 total marks and the previous year's marks that is 65 and it has been compared with respect to year 2012 in similarly we have to apply for each student in this table so let's see how we can do this by using sql query so first we'll run the student table so we have a student name total marks and year in the student table now our first criteria is to get the another column which will contain the To, uh, previous years data for each student so how can we achieve that so we can achieve that by using uh, analytic function called lag function so this lag function what it will what it will do it is going to fetch the previous previous rows data so in this case we want total marks so we are so we are going to pass total marks in this lag function and we are going to partition by student name and order by year so if i run this sub query using lag uh, which is having lag function we are able to get the previous year's marks so if you see uh, in the year 2012 for mohan marks was 90 and in the previous year it uh, mohan has marks 65 in 2011 so we can see it is coming 65 along with 90 marks in uh, if you see in 2011 Uh, along with 65 we have previous years marks as 70 because in 2010 mohan got 70 marks so we are able to fetch the previous years marks for each students now our next criteria is to display only those marks i mean uh, we have to display only those students name whose total marks is greater than or equal to previous years marks so if you see this setup in 2012 mohan got 90 marks and in 2011 he got 65 so uh, if 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 we go by the logic total marks is greater than equal to 65 so this this record is going to our should go to our output table if you compare this one uh, in year 2011 mohan got 65 and in 2010 he got 70 70 marks so this is not satisfying our criteria so it is not going it so it will not go to our output table in the third this one uh, since there is no previous years data is there so this is not applicable so out of these three rows in for mohan's category we are uh, 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 only one row is satisfying this logic and it will be going to the output table similar similar rules applies for rahul's also and sanjay also so 
our next target is now to how to filter those logic so we can do this by using case statement so here we are writing case when total marks is greater than equal to previous year's marks then i am populating one for the flag flag column else we, i am populating zero so whichever condition it will be getting satisfied there will be another column called flag which will have one or zero populated so if i run this piece of code so if you see uh, wherever there is a one that is the uh, well qualified to go into the output table so these three values is qualified and it should go to the output table now our job is very easy now we have to take these two sub query as a, our table and we have to select student name total marks year and previous year's marks where we have to filter flag is equal to one so if i run this full piece of code we we are able to achieve the desired result so if you have liked this video please like it share it and subscribe the channel thank you and thanks for watching